Today I'm going to show you how to use the TGP with the uh, TV guided AGM 65F Maverick. Now the first thing we need to do is turn on our TGP which is down here. This will be on standby by default. We just flick that to on with a right click. And we can find our TGP on the right uh, on the right or the left but I prefer the right. And then we just click the sense button. This will take us to TAC. If you click it again it will go to support but you can switch between TAC and support here. We want to be on TAC. Then we want to click the FLIR button. I'll get our TGP on. If the TGP is not ready, it will say not timed out. You just have to wait a few minutes for the seeker head to cool down, for the uh, sensor to cool down, I mean. Then we want to get our Maverick up on the left-hand display, and uh, we want to go into air-to-ground mode first, and then select the Maverick, and then click it one more time, and the Maverick seeker head will pop up. Now, the Maverick... Um, uh, if, if you're starting from cold start, the Maverick will uh, not be cooled down yet. So once you select the Maverick, it will start a countdown timer. It will appear in the top left here. And it takes about three minutes to cool down. And it will, tell, it will say, in the, say in the top left and um, tell you when it's ready to go. So now what we need to do is find uh, the target. So to do that, we're just going to get the SA page up here. We've got the middle one to go on to tack, then SA page. We'll select waypoint one. You can see waypoint one here. If we have waypoint boxed on the SA page, it'll show, or on the HSI, it'll show the waypoint in the corner here, and that'll overwrite any target uh, data distance uh, that would also be displayed on the HUD. So we'll unbox that for now, just so we can see the distance to the target. Then what we want to do is select the TGP as the sensor of interest, which we can do with sensor select right or right alt uh, forward slash for keyboard users, and then uh, the TGP will be selected, shown by the diamond in the corner here. We can then slew the TGP around using the TDC buttons. And you can see on the SA page where it's looking, so we can put it over the waypoint easily enough. And to slew the TGP around, it's going to be um, comma for left, forward slash for right, uh, period or full stop for down, and uh, semicolon for up. We can zoom in either using the button here. This changes the field of view or we can use uh, the RAID FOV switch on the uh, keyboard that is uh, I and we can also zoom in like this with the two buttons here or you can use the radar antele antenna elevation which is plus and minus uh, using the you can either switch between FLIR and CCD using this button or you can switch by holding down the RAID FOV switch for more than 0.8 seconds See, we found a tank here. We can switch between area track and point track. So area track in the corner here, that means it will track a point on the ground. And point track means it will track a contrasting uh, object, so this tank, for example. We'll put it in point track for now. And you can see it just moved a tiny bit just to get on that tank. Um, now we need to check that the, uh, the Maverick is on the left-hand screen. It is caged. It says caged in the top left here. And if, if the Maverick's on the left and caged, then we can press the TDC to press button, which is enter by default. And when we press that, you'll see that the, you see that the Maverick Seeker head has now uh, slewed to the target. We can zoom in on the Maverick Seeker head so we get a better picture with the FOV button. And you can see it's just locked, shown by the solid line across and down. So now, this means we're ready to fire. It says in range on the HUD. We'll just make sure we get uh, put the cross uh, a bit more center line on the TGP, and then we can just press the rifle button or the weapon release, which is Alt Space. There we go, rifle, and that's how you fire a Maverick in uh, the F-18C Hornet in DCI. 